Okay, guys, next up is a very important jujitsu stretch, okay? This jujitsu stretch, it's all about being gentle, okay? We're building flexion in our hip, and the better the flexion in your hip, the more protected your knee is, okay? This position that you see my leg in, you're often in this position when you're doing jujitsu, you're trying to regard. My partner's trying to pass my guard, and I'm regarding. I'm gonna find myself in this position quite often. I need to build strength in this position and mobility, okay? So you can see that I'm putting uh, uh, a small amount of weight on my leg here, and I'm just stretching out, but I'm also pushing into the ball. My right leg is pushing into the ball. I'm supporting my knee with my right hand, see? like this, and I'm supporting my ankle with my left hand. I'm making sure that my knee joint is protected. I'm supporting my knee, and I'm balancing here. You can see that I'm on my left toes. I'm gonna give you guys a better angle here. I'm on my left toes here, and I'm just doing a static, a static hold. I'm catching my balance, and once I've caught my balance, I start moving around just a little bit. Okay, I'm moving around just a little bit. I'm working my hip. If my hip is nice and flexible, it's gonna take a lot of stress off my knee when I find myself in these positions in uh, jiu-jitsu, okay? Oftentimes I find myself in this position in jiu-jitsu and I need to make sure, here I'm gonna adjust the angle here, I need to make sure that I'm not only very mobile in this position, I'm also very strong in this position. You see me pushing with my leg into the ball and creating uh, an isometric hold with my, with my hip and leg here, okay? I'm gonna rotate here, give you guys a different angle, I'm gonna switch leg, that gave me a really nice deep stretch Okay, I'm throwing my leg over. I'm off in this position when people are trying to pass my guard. The more flexible and strong I am in this position, the harder it is for my partner to pass my guard. It becomes very, very difficult to pass my guard. This is a very, very important uh, uh, mobility trait that you need to have for jiu-jitsu. Okay, it's super, super important. It also makes taking takedowns much harder. If a guy's very flexible in this manner and I have a single leg on him and I try to bring him down to the ground, oftentimes this type of flexibility allows them to hip heist, free their legs, okay, turn their knees to the mat. You'll see me, I'm playing with different ranges here. I'm gonna put my knee down on the mat, move away from the ball, and kinda change the angle here. And slowly, very important, I'm supporting my foot with my right hand, I'm supporting my knee with my left hand, never allowing any of the stress to go on the knee joint. It's really a hip issue here. I'm working the hip, isometric hold, I'm getting on top of the ball, creating some st instability here, catching my balance here, very important exercise. And this is a stretch for both hips. You'll notice, I'm just gonna take the weight off my left leg here. I'm stretching this hip, but also the trail hip, the hip that's in the back. Let me rotate here. If you don't have this type of mobility and you try to do jiu-jitsu, um, you can really injure your knee, okay? You can really get hurt. It's very important that I have a nice uh, mobility in my hip, especially this specific mobility, okay? Now, I did my 90 degree stretch towards the front side. And now, once I've done that for a few minutes, make sure to do both legs evenly. I'm gonna do the opposite side. Okay, so now I'm using, I'm stretching out my right leg, okay? I have the 90 degree here and the 90 degree here. That's what Kelly Starr calls the 90-90. And now I'm just kind of stretching my leg in the opposite way. Okay, now I'm stretching my right leg here. I'm just creating a little bit of mobility. This is a position that I don't often find myself in jiu-jitsu, so it's not as important. But nonetheless, it's complementary, okay, to this uh, movement here, when I'm in the guard, like this, okay? It's very complimentary. When I'm in the guard, I'm always defending guard in this position. I'm gonna do the other side. I'm just basically stretching the opposite muscles. I'm in the 90-90 position here, and I'm stretching that opposite muscle here. Being very gentle, guys. Being gentle is the key. If you're too rough on your joints, you're gonna, you're gonna get less flexible, okay? You're gonna wear them out. It's all about increasing their mobility gently over time and increasing their strength gently over time. This exercise is fantastic for building strength and mobility, okay? I'm going to repeat a very important detail. I don't want to do it without supporting my knee and ankle. I want support on my knee and ankle, okay? I'm making sure that the stress is on my hip and never on my knee, okay? So when I'm underneath somebody and I'm pummeling my legs in in jiu-jitsu, I have the knee mobility, excuse me, I have the hip mobility to protect my knee. If you have poor hip mobility, the stress is gonna end up on your knee and you can tear your LCL, you can injure yourself, okay? Let's give it a try.